I could go on roasting each one of you losers individually, but it would take hours. Instead, let me sum it up. You're nothing but a bunch of sad souls desperately seeking attention in my stream. Guess what? Your pathetic attempts won't work. Now, excuse me while I go play Mario Kart 60. Four with Athene and completely obliterate him on every track. Well, look who we have here, Mazzarella Nien, 154. You must be the poster child for how not to form a coherent thought. Congratulations on showcasing your impressive mental gymnastics. Now, let me address your nonsensical question about committing to nuclear programs on Shadow Moses Island. Are you high as a kite or just suffering from severe brain damage? I mean, seriously, suggesting that either Trump or I should commit to anything related to fictional video game locations is just pure lunacy. It's like asking if I plan on gluing my asshole shut as a dieting technique. And don't even get me started on your fascination with Mario Kart 60. Four and government funding deals with Armstead are mushrooms, not hallucinogenic enough for you. Perhaps you need some self-reflection while indulging in a golden shower from a Taco Bell employee. But hey, at least one thing makes sense in this sea of madness. Your desire for reduced taxes and interest rates so you can own a home. Unfortunately for you, choosing between Trump and myself is like choosing between licking Nutella off a hobo's foot or performing a home circumcision with rusty garden shears. There are no winners here. F3G0, you pathetic Biden-loving loser, let me tell you something. I don't need an electric chair to deal with Sleepy Joe. Just a simple one-on-one -on -one debate would be enough to expose his feeble mind and lack of real accomplishments. And as for Blue Eyes, ultimate dragon and magic cylinder, please, that's child's play compared to the monstrous policy blunders Biden has made. It's like comparing a tricycle race to the Indy 500. But hey, since we're on the subject of fisting, let me enlighten you about something. E30, no one knows how to throw a devastating fist better than old Trump here. My hands are yug. And believe me when I say they've dealt many a knockout blow in business and politics alike. So keep dreaming about your little fantasy battles while hiding behind your keyboard. The only thing getting electrified around here is my unstoppable energy as I barrel towards victory in 2024. Smoke that in your pipe, or should I say hog riders, you three to zero. Your obsessions clearly know no bounds. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's some naked hot dog eating waiting for me in the White House kitchen. Almost an infant, you're so right. The savage levels are off the charts, just like me when I'm wrestling with facts. Love having you here, buddy. Padrachi, your imagination is as wild as Uranus itself. Maybe we can use Biden's ass to build a wall and make those cockvaders pay for it. Tremendously outlandish idea. As for Capcom games and the Konami code, they're probably scared of getting beaten by Trump in every game. Marcus McIntyre, that's an age-old mystery. Made Capcom games have their own secret codes that only true legends like Trump can master. Induced it, oh boy, indictments. You know what they say. If the glove doesn't fit, impeach. Just more fake news fueling my incredible popularity. They'll never knock this champ out of the ring. Now let's grab our controllers and unleash some nuclear-level Mario Kart mayhem on Athene while blasting these chat insults into orbit. Anyone who messes with us will get spanked harder than my monkey during a replay of my debate domination. Let's light up this chat like bees stinging my nipples in the rose garden. Induced art. Let me tell you something, folks. The only indictment I care about is the criminal charges brought against dull Joe Biden's brain. It's a full-blown catastrophe parade up there, worse than putting my Al Capone cigar in forbidden places for a wild thrill. And when it comes to your question, buddy, let me be crystal clear. Any association between electric balls and Trump is as laughable as seeing Hannity wearing latex underwear. So keep dreaming that impossible dream while I continue dominating Mario Kart like a boss. The Dorsch. Let me tell you something, Sleepy Joe over here couldn't count to 10 without getting lost in his own dentures. Believe me, I've got more hairs on my head than Biden has brain cells left. And by the way, who needs to count Toten Thousand when you're the grand poobah of nutsacks like myself? But hey, maybe Biden can use all that extra time he's saving, not counting to actually learn how to debate properly.